So according to YouTube, uh, the best way to cross a log is using the double blip technique. Yeah, proc, proc, all that sort of stuff. It sucks. <laughs> it's so good to hear you say that. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard to do. It's really slow. And it's quite easy to get wrong. And like in a race situation, if you double blip and I single blip, I'm going to pass you every time. So, the, you need a double blip for anything that's kind of like higher than your, your front wheel or anything that's undercut. The double blip thing's super popular, but like my, if I'm coming up to an obstacle on the trail, like I've got probably five different options I can use to get over the obstacle, and number four, my last choice would be fine, fuck it, I guess I'll have to double blip it. Because <laughs> it's hard, it's slow, it's, it's annoying. Um, where it comes from is from trials. So it's the best way to get a trials bike up over an obstacle, uh, but we're not riding trials bikes today. So we'll go through it for sure, but it's probably the least beneficial one. Cool, so the first one I want to go through you guys, we call it the single blip technique. Half as many blips, half as much a job, and uh, twice, uh, half the speed. So we're coming up to the obstacle, as square as we can possibly make it. Uh, the bigger the obstacle, the slower you need to be going in front of it. So really important to remember is acceleration makes your bike go up and over something. Speed makes you smash into it. The bigger the obstacle, the more important the acceleration is. So you think of like the World Trials Champs guys, even like a big two meter rock step, infinite run up. They'll still wind the bike up from a standstill and launch it from a standstill. It's not to be clever, it's pretty much the only way to do it. Cool. So, I don't want to say how fast to go. However big the obstacle is for you, that's how slow you should be going. So, the height of the obstacle is about that far back. But from there to there, that's where you need to lift the front wheel from. So, another good way to describe that would be like uncomfortably, awkwardly close to the obstacle. So, if we didn't talk about it, most people probably want to start to lift their wheelie from back here. So it's really important, like acceleration makes the bike go up and over it. But we need to connect the front tire into the obstacle. So if I start my wheelie from back here, either my front wheel is going to be way too high, or it's going to be a super lame acceleration. So the closer we get to it, the more aggressively we can accelerate while still connecting the front tire. We want to hit that about two thirds of the way up the obstacle. So, compressing. Ruck, lifting that front tire, tagging the front tire into the obstacle. You hold the power on, the bike's going to continue to rotate around. As soon as the back tire hits, that's when we push our hips back and grab that clutch in exactly the same way we just practiced. So it's the, that basic clutch pop wheelie we've been practicing, done right here. And then that hip powering all the way through until the back tire hits, then it's that hips back movement that we just practiced. The main reason I really, really like this technique is it's very forgiving of too much effort. So if you are too aggressive on the power, you drive your hips back way too hard, the penalty will be you do a jump and look like a legend. <laughs> it's very, very forgiving of too much effort. If you don't give it enough acceleration, that's when you get kicked forwards, it's going to bounce off your pegs, all that sort of stuff. So I mean this in terms of acceleration, not in terms of approach speed. <laughs> very clear to underline that one right cool so this is uh yeah it's it's quite a safe one to practice as long as the big safety thing here is that driving those hips back
hurry in a race situation, it's still the same. Scrub the speed off, make the room for the acceleration, compress, tag the front, drive the hips back. Cool. Right. So where people make this mistake, and the, sorry, the mistakes people make with this, the most common one is starting to really too far away. It should feel like, oh fuck, like you, you're really close to it. And the big one is not driving the hips back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>